Welcome to all of the students of our soon coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua of the Christ. Let's get straight into the scriptures tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to have your minds blown tonight? Are you ready to have your minds blown? Put up those faces if you are indeed ready to have your minds blown. We do apologize uh, for the lateness. I'm just getting off of a podcast uh, out of London, right? And uh, out of London, England, uh, connected to the Redeemed Christian uh, Church of God once a month. The bishop teaches a group of pastors out of England, including throughout Nigeria once a month. Let's go into the scripture. This is going to be mind blowing tonight, and I need your prayers. Three things I need you to have. Number one, I need you to have the greatest weapon in history, the gospel that Christ taught. If you don't have the eternal gospel, uh, the physical eternal gospel that Christ taught, it is uh, critically important for every one of you to have the electronic version. And all of the monitors can put that up. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Emma Noel, Pastor uh, Sam, thank you so very much. Right there, uh, www.kingjamesbibleonline, King James Bible Online. It is imperative, very important that you follow along because if not, you'll be blocked. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pens. And number three, make sure you have a large notebook. Uh, Pastor Colleen will not be with us tonight. Uh, she uh, She's on business, kingdom business, but she'll be back with us in a few days. Uh, thank you all for your prayers and thank you so much. And if I'm coughing tonight, forgive me because uh, I'm still recovering from the flu. Great to see you, Pastor Sam, Pastor Jody Bird, Pastor Ellis Ewing, my sons in Christ, all of you guys. And we will definitely save the shout outs later on. God has given me a word. Okay. Thank you so very much. Uh, Pastor Colin, I invite your attention tonight to the book of First Samuel. Examine, if you will, First Samuel, and we're going to begin in chapter number four. Oh my, I, I feel there's a great anointing here tonight. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, that is 1 Samuel chapter 4, beginning with verse 12, going down to verse 15. And then we're going to skip down to verses 17 and 18. So that's 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 12 to 15, dropping down <coughs> to verses 17 and 18. In the key verse tonight that I want every one of you to fully concentrate on tonight is Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. All right, let's go straight into the word of the Lord. First Samuel chapter number four, verse 12. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And there ran a man of Benjamin out of the army and came to Shiloh the same day with his clothes rent and with earth upon his head. And when he came, lo, Eli, or Charles sat upon a seat by the wayside watching for his heart trembled for the ark of God. For his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried out. And with when Eli, or King Charles, heard the noise of the crying, he said, 
What meaneth the noise of this tumult? Question. And the man came in hastily and told Charles or Eli. And Eli was 90 and eight years old and his eyes were dim that he could not see. Dropping down to verse 17. And the messenger answered and said, Israel is fled before the Philistines, and there hath been also a great slaughter among the people. And thy two sons, William and Harry, I'm sorry, excuse me, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead. And the ark of God is taken. And it came to pass when he made mention of the ark of God, the presence of God, that he, Eli, or Charles, fell from off the seat or throne backward. Oh, speak Holy Spirit. Back to the future by the side of the gate and his neck break and he died and he died and he died for he was an old man and heavy and he had judged israel 40 years. There's an anointing here tonight. The key verse that I want every one of you to concentrate on fully will come out of Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, from whence we shall receive the subject of tonight's lecture. Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, hear ye the word of the Lord. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Notice the first sentence. God is saying through Moses, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, but the deep state's mindset is the complete opposite of that. They don't believe that the life of the flesh is in the blood. They believe that the life of the blood is in the flesh called spirit cookie. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth, for thy word is the truth. Heavenly Father, you don't need me, but I certainly need you. Open the heavens tonight, northward, southward, eastward, and westward, and pour down an on-time anointing, an on-time word. Not just for the students here tonight, not just for our nation, but for the entire world and Yeshua's holy name. Now go back to 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 12 to 15, dropping down to verse 17 and 18. Let's lay apostolic, eternal, internal foundation, module 3, volume 3, the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. There is a great distinction, students, 
between a natural disaster versus an unnatural disaster. What you think is natural is actually unnatural. And what you think is unnatural is actually unnatural. The deep state students will teach you and I that hurricanes and earthquakes in diverse places and famines are natural disasters. What is natural to Satan is unnatural to God. And what is natural to God is unnatural to Satan. What is order to God is disorder to Satan. And what is order to Satan is disorder to God. Pay attention. Another word, students, we must love what God loves and we must hate what God hates. You cannot love what Satan loves and you cannot hate what God loves. You cannot love what God hates and you cannot hate what God loves. St. Paul wrote to the Apostolic Church at Rome in Romans 12 and 9, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. So you cannot love what God hates. And at the same time, you cannot hate what God loves. You cannot, preachers, teach the nature of God if you're living according to the nature of Satan. From Genesis 1 and 3 to today, 33.6 million types of famines and disasters have taken place on this terra firma called the earth. Think about it. 33.6 or 33 and a half million type of disasters according to Harvard University study in connection to the War Institute in Washington, D.C., in connection to the Political Science Department at Tel Aviv, 33 and a half million famines, storms, floods, pandemics, I have to be careful, or 33 and a half degrees masonically designed. 33 and a half million types of disasters, to God, they are unnatural. But to the deep state, These catastrophes are natural. Allow the apostle to take his time in laying apostolic foundation of the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. Famines 
when we concentrate historically from 1845 to 1851 was the potato famine in Ireland where it destroyed over one million of our Irish brothers and sisters. Thank you, Pastor Sam. The potato famine, allow me to use wisdom, was caused by the British Empire. The government of England, the British Empire, one time ruled almost half of the earth, planted a biological pathogen within the food supply of Ireland beginning in 1845. The pathogen was called Pythrophthora, capital P-H-Y-T-H-O-P, T-H-O-R-A, Thora. It's not just a genus plant that is poisonous, but according to Roman mythology, Pythophora is a demon of depopulation in Roman mythology. Pythophora, Python, Pythonus, divination. In Acts 16, 16, St. Paul the Apostle confronted a demon in a woman whose name was divination or Python. The first four letters of the term divination is divi or diva. Women of God, never call yourselves diva. Woman of God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Never call yourself a diva because the term diva is the acronym foundation for the term divination, which means python or pythonus. There was a female secret society during the time of the apostles called the Pythoness. The immaculate patterns of simulated deception. May not feel an anointing from the Holy Spirit. The biological weapon, Pythrop Thora, in 1845 and festins originated first in central Mexico and then eventually to the Andes Mountain, which the government of England then transported to Ireland, which affected, infected 95% of vegetation, including potatoes. Thank God Jacob Rothschild died. Let me use wisdom. In 1889, the same British government that caused one million people, Irish people, to die was the same year of the Russian flu that started in 1889 and lasted until 1895, the Asiaticus flu, a respiratory disease, a biological agent where one million Russians were slaughtered through a biological weapon. In the year 1889 was the same year in July 1889, where a 6.3 earthquake magnitude, magnitude earthquake 
almost destroyed central Japan. In the same year of 1889, another seismic earthquake almost destroyed the nation of Kakistan near Indochina. Why 1889? Students, do you remember the 1889 Cleveland Street scandal? Can I take my time? Remember the 1889 Cleveland Street scandal. Create catastrophes over here in order to cover up corruption over here. The immaculate patterns of simulated deception. In 1890 to 1902, took place called the Phoenix Catastrophe. On February 11th, 1889, the Meiji Constitution, M-E-I-J-I -I Constitution of Japan was adopted as a constitution of colonization. It was not the Japanese government who created the 1889 Meiji Constitution, it was the British Empire. Simulated deception. You better get people, get them off of Facebook, get them off of TikTok and IG, Instagram, and X and Twitter. Get them off of Telegram, bit shooting gap. Okay, get them off of gab because what I'm teaching you tonight has never been taught, at least not on this level. Stay there in 1 Samuel chapter 4, which is laying foundation tonight concerning the immaculate patterns of simul simulated deception the Nostradamus hypothesis. In the same year of 1889, the United States of America passed the Enabling Act admitting the following states in the Union on North and South Dakota, Montana in the state of Washington in order to use those new states to build military bases for the creation of biological weapons as early as 1889. Always remember, students, you cannot conquer what you refuse to confront. You cannot conquer, write it down. You cannot conquer what you refuse to confront. Only true apostolicity, only true apostolic power of authority A and power P, the first two letters of the term apostolic, has the ability both to confront and to destroy all demons. So then there is a great distinction between confronting demons through teaching versus confronting demons through arguing, augmentation, or fussing. Again, for the past 6,000 years, since recreation from Genesis 1 and 3 to Genesis 3 and 6 is 13.7 billion years. Now, you have to be very wise in dissecting the scriptures because verse 1 of any chapter can be one year, and in verse 2, 
can be 100 years later. So you can't say between verses one and two is day one or two of that given time period. So 13.7 billion years from Genesis one and three to the fall of Adam to Genesis three and six, you and I had 13 point trillion cells in our body. Christ performed 37 miracles. Actually, he performed more than 37, but only 37 were recorded by the apostles. But yet, from Genesis 1 and 3 to the fall of Adam into Genesis 3 and 6 is 13.7 billion years. And from the fall of Atom in Genesis 3 and 6 to now, is 6,000 years. So this is actually not 2024. It is actually 1727. Because of the phantom time hypothesis, where the emperor of Rome, King Otto III, and the Byzantine Empire, along with Pope Sylvester added 297 years to history in order to fabricate it. So this is not 2024. It's actually 1727. Let's continue to lay foundation. For the past 6,000 years of our recreation, from Genesis 3 and 6 to now has been only six days to God and creation for the past 6,000 years has only moved six inches. Think about that. We're not just in 1727, but we've only moved six inches. An inch for a day, a day for an inch to God. The Illuminati uses the seal of Garcenda in establishing the historical demonic system of child pedophilia. Here comes the bloodline. Kathleen the Great, Queen Victoria of the British Crown, understood Akkadian psychology, Akkadian, A-double-K-A-D-I-A-N, demonic divine knowledge of the fallen angels. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a great distinction between white nobility and black nobility. When I'm referring to white and black nobility, I'm not talking about skin color. White nobility represents the lower political structure of European families in history, Eastern, Central, and Western Europe while black nobility families represents those who carry the bloodline of the fallen angels, RH positive and RH negative. Those who are RH positive and those who are RH negative take their cue from their father, the serpent. You can tell I'm rattling cages because demons are coming out tonight. They're being agitated. Those of black nobility families, regardless of skin color, carry an RH negative and an RH positive bloodline that goes back to the serpent through the fallen angels of Genesis 6, Enoch 6, Jew 6, 666. 
simulated deception. The bloodlines, in order to get to the money, you don't follow the money, you must follow the bloodline that will take you to the money. The bloodlines of all royal families and Eastern, Central, and Western Europe, and also throughout Southeast Asia, goes back to both the Roman and the Prussian Germanic empires in connection to the Eastern Roman Empire called the Byzantine Empire, which will fall eventually to the Ottoman Empire. 260 popes in history. Every single pope in history are related by blood. Every single, listen, every single pope in history is related by blood. See, a lot of you are here not because God sent you here. You have to understand this class is not for everyone. The first Pope in history was not St. Peter the Apostles. St. Peter the Apostle was not the first Pope in history. That's a lie put out by the Vatican order. The first first pope in history was a warlock by the name of Simon Magus Pater, P-A-T-E-R, which in Latin means Peter, not the apostle Peter of the Gospels, but this counterfeit Peter put up as the first pope in Rome's history by the name of Simon Magus, the magician Simon Pater, whose bones are venerated by the global Vatican system. Now you have the black pope, the yellow pope, the white pope. Every pope, 260 popes in history, are related genetically by blood and they are related to the 70 past Roman Empire rulers. Wait a minute now. So you've got 260 popes plus 70 Roman Empire rulers. That's 330 Luciferic genetical bloodlines. 33 degrees of the global Masonic order, 33 and a half degrees of the Scottish Rite order. So the number 33 is a number that is Masonically designed. Christ came and lived in his sonship for 33 and a half years, who would expose the 33 and a half degrees of Luciferic rule with apostolic power. Ah, so then 260 popes plus 70 Roman Empire rulers, that's 330, 330 Luciferic genetical bloodline demons in connection to the Rothschilds and giving birth to Buckingham Palace. You know, Pastor uh, Sam, I'm agitating some demons here tonight. Listen, simulated deception. The House of Windsor today are actually German by blood. If you trace the bloodline of the House of Windsor, it doesn't start in Great Britain. It starts out of Rome and matriculates through the Prussian and the German empires 
called the House Saxy Goldberg Golfer. So the Rothschilds, in connection to the Jesuit Seeker Society, uh-oh, here we go. How many of you have heard of the Jesuit Secret Society? Let me wipe some of the anointing off. The Jesuit Secret Society, which was born in Paris, France, in 1540 with money coming out of the Vatican, through a man, a killer, by the name of Ignatius, whose last name was Loyola. Ignatius Loyola, whose life is portrayed in the video game Assassin's Creed, began the Jesuit Seeker Society on the 27th of September, 1540 in Paris, France, representing the military industrial complex of the Vatican order. Along with six other assassins would establish approximately 207 satellite offices around the world up until this day, but yet there are 207 nations according to the United Nations. Which brings us to a bloodline called the House of Eleanor. Allow me to get a drink of water. Listen. The House, oh, I'm hoping and praying that you're taking notes. Listen. The House of Eleanor, capital E L E A N O R. Now, the House of Eleanor, let me take my time. The House of Eleanor, which will eventually produce Queen Elizabeth Regina, was queen of both France and Great Britain at the same time. Speak Holy Spirit. Queen Eleanor's bloodline would produce a generation of witches called the Seals of Garcinda, G-A-R-C-I-N-D-A, -A, the Seals of Garcinda. Every seal of every European and English and Asian families has a crest or a seal given to them by witches. Queen Eleanor, her bloodline would produce another witch by the name of Elizabeth Bathory. Do you guys remember the series Operation London Bridge? Elizabeth Bathory, B-A-T-H-O-R-Y, was a serial killer, especially of black male slaves. She had designed the term countess or count where witches and warlocks, after murdering children and adolescents and adults through satanic sacrifice, would count the measures of blood to be sacrificed as the seals of Garcinda that also represents the seals of Garcinia. This is where you get the term count and countess, count 
Draculation, draconian laws, Count Dracula. Elizabeth Bathory is in the same genetical bloodline, thank you, Pastor Jody Bird, of another killer by the name of Delphine Lolori. Delphine, D E L P H I N E, Lalori, L A L A U R I E, who would immigrate out of Transylvania to what is called New Orleans, Louisiana today, would castrate black men who were slaves and put their testicles in juices and teas and spaghetti. You're dealing with the same bloodline that will produce King Charles today. Elizabeth Bathory, Delphine Lolori, witches who are burning in hell right now. The Bathory in the Lolori bloodline would produce the Marshall family out of Central Europe that would be the blood progenitors that would produce the Bundy family out of Ireland through Theodore Ted Bundy. Can I teach? The House of Eleanor will also produce the 12 royal bloodlines of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe coming out of the genetical bloodline of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire from 625 BC to 476 AD in the Byzantine Empire, the continuation of the Western Roman Empire, called the Byzantine Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, from 395 CE, during the common era of Christ, to 1453 AD. Then came the Ottoman Empire, from 792 AD to 1923 AD, five years after World War I. The origin, <clears throat> the origination of the term America. I shared this with you guys, not just last week, a week before last, but last year sometime during the uh, Operation London Bridge lecture, my staff in New York wrote an email letter to President Trump when he was in office detailing the origins, the originations of the term America, which blew away the Trump administration. That's why I thank God that I'm on the 1776 commission. That's all I'm going to say. The term America, let me wipe some of the anointing off of my glasses. Can I, take, can I just take my time tonight? Can I take my time? The term America is not ordained by God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me wipe some of the anointing off. Can I take my time this evening? The term America comes from the serpent deity of both the Aztecs and the Mayans going back thousands of years, representing the serpent plumb line demon called Americus. Americus. Thank you, Pastor Rick. The plumb line demon serpent, don't tread on me. Why do you have that flag? Throw it out. When you go to Google Images, type in on Google Images 
the map of the Roman Empire. Lord have mercy. I want you to hear me tonight. Type the map of the Roman Empire or the Roman Empire map. Thank you, Pastor Leslie. Americus, the feather plumb line serpent. Type in on, see, this is the show me state. You got to show people on Google Images, Roman Empire map or the map of the Roman Empire on Google Images. The Holy Spirit revealed this to me last year that he said, Bishop, when you examine the map of the Roman Empire on Google Images, it is shaped like an animal called a wolf. I want you to hear me tonight. The Roman Empire, which lasted over a thousand years, is shaped like a wolf on a map. The fallen angels who fell out of the heavens. Here's another revelation. Every map of 207 nations on the map, what the United States is shaped like in Canada, in Mexico, in North and South America, and in Eastern, Central, and Western Europe, in Africa, or Akibulin, in all of Asia. 207 nations on a map are the dust offspring of fallen angels. You won't find this on google.com. <coughs> you won't find it on Yahoo. Listen, only the Holy Spirit can reveal this. Scotland and the Philippines, the same pastor calling. Oh, Lord, have me. When the angels fell, in time, they became dust. And what Italy is shaped like, and all of the African nations, and the nations of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe, and Canada, every nation that's shaped on a map is the dust offspring of the fall in the impact on the earth of fallen angels. And oil that's driving these wars is the residue of fallen angels. Immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. Again, the Roman Empire on a map is shaped like a wolf, Pastor Ellis Ewing. Inside of the nation of the Roman Empire on a map, inside of it is the regurgitation of nations. I want you to hear me tonight. Now, blue pill people will not understand this. We've had some people come here. I don't understand. This class is not for you. Okay? Now, this is not the type of class where Bishop is going to teach you Jesus loves me. This I stop. Listen, this is not. Listen, this class is only for high level blue, uh, red pill students, not high level religious students of the blue pill ism. This is for high level red pill students. So inside, when you look at the map of the Roman empire, inside of the Roman empire on a map is nations that's being regurgitated by Rome that looks like a wolf on a map. Two brothers, twins, Romulus and Remus, 
founded the Roman Empire. When you type in on Google Images, Romulus and Remus, R-O-M-U-L-U-S, Remus, R-E-M-U-S, you will see them underneath a wolf performing bestiality. But yet, the Roman Empire is shaped like a wolf that has regurgitated nations inside of it. Can I take my time? Simulated deception. The bloodline of a young man by the name of Aaron Kaminsky. I'm going to take my time. So I'm agitating some demons tonight, Pastor Rick and Pastor Sam and Pastor Leslie and Pastor Ellis Ewing and you witness. The bloodline of a young man by the name of, thank you, Pastor Ray. Okay, listen. Aaron Kaminsky, known as Jack the Ripper, in the mid 1700s, who was related on his mother's side, where a second cousin on the mother's side of Aaron Kaminsky was a young man by the name of Deacon Brody. B R O D I E. The bloodline progenitor, Deacon Brody, was the bloodline progenitor who was a British citizen but born in Poland on the mother's side of Jack the Ripper, Aaron Kaminsky. Who is Deacon Brody? Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You thought the writings of Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde were fictional. Deacon Brody, B-R-O-D-I-A, a British citizen but born in Poland, just like his cousin Aaron Kaminsky, Jack the Ripper, Deacon Brody lived at the same town of Aaron Kaminsky, Jack the Ripper. Aaron Kaminsky, Deacon Brody are in the same genetical bloodline. I thank God for my staff back in New York who would produce King Charles III today. Deacon Brody's real is the real life entity of Dr. Jackal. Listen, Jackal Island, the Federal Reserve System, and Mr. Hyde. Deacon Brody, whose life was written by author Robert Louis Stevenson. Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde, Deacon Brody, was a real life character written by author Robert Louis Stevenson. What Stevenson said that Deacon Brody and Aaron Comiskey are related by blood in connection to the British crown. Thank you, Pastor Coleman. Do you remember the Cleveland Street scandal? in London, England in 1889. At 19 Cleveland Street, it was a homosexual brothel. The building at 19 Cleveland Street in 1889 was owned at the time by Leopold de Rothschild. 
A year before, the scandal broke in 1889 of the Cleveland Street scandal. A young woman by the name of Mary Ann Nichols, who worked as a housekeeper during the day at 19 Cleveland Street, her body was found mutilated on August 31st, 1888. A second housekeeper who worked at the Cleveland Street uh, address was Annie Chapman, whose body was found mutilated on September 8th, 1888. A third woman, a woman by the name of Elizabeth Stride, S-T-R-I-D-E, a housekeeper by day at 19 Cleveland Street, was found dead on September 30th, 1888. Another woman by the name of Catherine Eddowes, Capital E double D O W E S. Catherine with the C Eddowes worked as a housekeeper at 19 Cleveland Street. There you go, Pastor Queen. She was found mutilated on September 30th, 1888, one year before the Cleveland Street scandal broke not just to the British press, but to the world press. A member of that brothel at 19 Cleveland Street was the grandson of Queen Victoria, Prince Albert Victor, a known homosexual, who then was sent to India by his grandmother, Queen Victoria, to cover up the Crown's involvement in the Cleveland Street scandal through Prince Albert Victor, and were told by the British press he died of influenza. But what brought that on? It's what is called today AIDS or immune deficiency syndrome. Prince Albert Victor of Wales was second in line behind his father to the throne of England, a known homosexual, along with his butt friend, Leopold de Rothschild. The writer, getting back to the writer of Dr. Jacko and Mr. Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson, was a paid customer at 19 Cleveland Street. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote the strange case of Dr. Jack and Mr. Hyde, whose real name <coughs> is Deacon Brody, who's related to Jack the Ripper, Aaron Kaminsky. The writer, Robert Louis Stevenson, was a paid customer at this homosexual brothel in 1889 at 19 Cleveland Street. These five women were murdered in order to cover up the Crown's connection to one of the worst scandals in British history, the Cleveland Street Scandal of 1889. That would produce the genetical bloodline of Queen Elizabeth Regina. Can I keep teaching? Mary Jane Kelly 
worked as a maid during the day at 19 Cleveland Street. Her body, Pastor Sam and Pastor Rita, was found mutilated and all of her organs gone on November 9th, 1888. All five of these women worked as housemaids during the day cleaning up the semen in the vomit in the feces in the blood at 19 Cleveland Street. You see, there's no fear in the apostle. You see, if you call yourself an apostle, you have to be willing to be crucified because there's no fear in the man of God. The immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. Aaron Kaminsky, Jack the Ripper, knew Prince Albert Victor, Prince of Wales, and Aaron Kaminsky, Jack the Ripper, along with Robert Louis Stevenson, the author of Jack the Ripper, along with the real Jack the Ripper, Deacon Brody were paid customers at 19 Cleveland Street in London, England. Well, little boys and little girls were paraded throughout the night. The blood progenitor of Aaron Kaminsky, Jack the Ripper, along with Deacon Brody, Dr. Jacko and Mr. Hyde, oh, Jacko Island, were genetically and generationally produced Queen Elizabeth Regina. The term Regina is a Latin term meaning queen. Aaron Kaminsky in the mid 1700s, along with Deacon Brody, the real life Dr. Jacko and Mr. Hyde, along with another paid customer at 19 Cleveland Street, the author Robert Louis Stevenson, were part of the Cleveland Street scandal in 1889. Is your minds blown? Put up those faces if your minds are blown. I, I double dare you, put up those faces if your minds are blown tonight. It gets deeper. These are the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. All customers at 19 Cleveland Street. In the text, oh Lord have mercy. In the text tonight, in 1 Samuel chapter 4, Verses 12 to 15 and 17 and 18 is a man by the name of Eli, a corrupt ruler, a corrupt priest, whose two sons, Hophni, William, and Phinehas, Harry, are part of the corruption as a cancer that has set up in Israel. Eli was a fat man. The term fat not, not only means weight, but it means financial corruption. Sat at the gate of Jerusalem, ruling through the corruption of his two sons, Hophni and Phinehas. In verse 18, about the body of the text in 1 Samuel 4, 18. When the news of the Ark of the Covenant came to Eli that the Ark of the Covenant was taken, 
King Charles, Eli, felt backward, back to the future, and his neck broke. Stop right there. I want to reveal to you tonight what the mind of God has revealed to me in prayer this morning. He said, Bishop, tell the body of Christ that Operation Mania Bridge has already taken place. I said, what, Lord? He says, tell the body of Christ and tell the students that Operation Mania, M-E-N-A-I Bridge, has already taken place. Operation London Bridge is a covert word meaning the crown, Queen Elizabeth had died. Operation Mania Bridge, named after the Mania Suspension Bridge, that connects England to Wales, also a part of the Manaya Strait, was created by glacier erosion along a line of weakness associated with the Manaya Strait fault system. A system of weakness. My contacts in the government, I got to be careful, had said that King Charles is dead. Now, to the average person, they're going to think that this is crazy. King Charles, who was eaten up with cancer, has already passed. And the prophecies of Nostradamus has now come into manifestation of a war between William and Harry. Operation Manaya Bridge is a code word for King Charles R. R means Rex, R-E-X which is Latin for king, like R for Regina, is a Latin word for queen for his mother, Queen Elizabeth. Back in 1988, when Prince Charles then of the Prince of Wales went on a skiing trip in Europe and was under an avalanche of snow, the crown wanted to activate Operation Manaya Bridge, but he was found alive. Charles is gone. Now there's an inner war between William and Harry. God spoke to me and said, through two questions, he said, Bishop, have you heard of the code name Danny Collins. I said, no, sir. He said, have you heard of the code name Daphne Clark? I said, no, sir. Then he said, have you heard of the code name David Steves, S-T-E-V-E-S, I said, no, sir. Had you heard of the name Davina Scott? I said, no, sir. God says that Maniah Bridge has passed. Now there is an inner state, deep state war in Buckingham Palace between four codes. The code of Danny Collins for Prince William. The code of Daphne Clark for Princess Kate 
versus the code of David Steves, Prince Harry, in the code of Davina Scott, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle has got this idea that she thinks that Harry is going to ascend the throne. Let me tell you, Megan, if, if the deep state took out their mother, Princess Diana, what do you think that they would do to you? The immaculate patterns has simulated deception. So Eli, in the text, the body of the text, in 1 Samuel chapter 4, destroyed himself and according to the Old and New Testament historian Josephus, when he wrote in his four-volume set, The Antiquity of the Jews, Eli had cancer prior to his neck being broken. Allow me to use wisdom. Now, in the key verse, in Leviticus 17 and 11. Is your minds blown tonight? Put up those faces if your minds are blown tonight. I double dare you. Put, put up those faces if your minds are blown. <clears throat> the immaculate patterns of simulated deception. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. But to the deep state, is it is the complete opposite. The deep state does not believe that the life of the flesh is in the blood. The deep state Luciferic system believes that the life of the blood is in the flesh. So you got witches like Marina Abramovich, who is really a man, okay? These witches who absolutely love flesh and blood. That's the system that God is destroying called the British crown. Stay there in Leviticus 17, verse 11. It gets deeper. Danny Collins is a code given to Prince William. Daphne Clark is a code given to Princess Kate. I'm told, I have to use wisdom, what King Charles had, Kate has. Wait a minute now. What King Charles had, Kate has. There is a conspiracy to remove William and Kate from the throne in order to transfer it to Harry in his witch of a wife, little Megan suits Marco. Prince William, Princess Kate, Harry and Megan have no death codes, but they have royal codes. According to the British Accession Council, the bloodline of the House of Windsor also is connected to the House of the Planton Jeanettes. Do you guys remember that bloodline, the House of the Planta Jeanettes, better known as the Game of Thrones? During the time of Henry II, who ruled England from 1154 to 1189 AD of the House of Sexy Goldberg Gotha and the House of Hanover, who are related also to the Draconia bloodline out of Trans Transylvania called Count Dracula. Operation Mania Bridge has been activated. Now there is an inner war within the British crown between the codes of Danny Collins, Prince William, his wife Daphne Clark or Princess Kate versus 
David Steeze, Prince Harry, Davina Scott, Meghan Markle. I want you to understand what I'm saying that there is a war going on and there are plans by the deep state of not allowing William to ascend the throne because he's exposing the Gaza Strip. So they want this devil, Harry, to ascend the throne. Stay there in Leviticus 17, verse 11. Here comes this prophet named Nostradamus. The bloodline of Nostradamus goes back to the early 1300s, to the early 1300s, to a man by the name of Guy Gassinet. Oh, Lord, Ham, you're getting a world-class education. Guy, G-U-Y, Gassinet. Listen, who was Guy Gassinet? Capital G-A-S-S-O-N-E-T. Guy Gassinet in the Gassinet family were a part of of the French prison industrial complex during the reign of Charles VI as King of France. The Gassinet bloodline with Guy Gassinet, who was adopted out of an orphanage by King Charles VI of France, and Guy Gessonet would later become the key executioner of those that were deemed a threat to French power. The Gessonet bloodline also had created the first gas chambers in French history. And so the Gassinets would change their name from Gassinet to Nostridam. Capital N O S T R E D A M E. Nostridam. Now, do me a favor, write down the term Nostredam, N-O-S-T-R-E-D-A-M-E, and circle the first two letters, capital N-O, skip the letter S, and circle the letters T-R-E, and then connect it to the term Dom, you get the French term Notre Dame or Notre Dame. Notre Dame or Notre Dame is a French lexicon word meaning Our Lady in reference not to Mary, the mother of Yeshua, but in reference to Julia Farnese, who was portraying not just Mary in Vatican paintings, but portraying Christ in Da Vinci's Last Supper. I want you to hear me tonight. The University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, is named from and by Reverend Edward Soren, S-O-R-I-N, 
Notre Dame du Lac, D-U then L-A-C, in the worship of not Christ and not even pointing to the true Mary, but the worship of Notre Dame or Nostradam, which would produce the term Nostradamus, where Nostradamus is a bloodline connection to the Foreign East bloodline out of Italy that would produce Julia Foreign East with the G, who would have an illicit relationship to Pope Alexander VI who was the father of not just this counterfeit Christ, the pitcher from the, from the chest up with long hair, Cesare Borgia, but Pope Alexander VI was also having sex with a prostitute named Julia Farnese who was portraying Christ in the Last Supper painting. Now you're gonna have people, I don't believe this class is not for you. Go listen to TD, okay, Power Bottom Snakes. Go listen to Joe Showstein, okay? Go listen to these devils. Get rid of your Last Supper painting. I said it, get rid of your Last Supper painting. Yes, the Last Supper took place, but not in a homosexual and lesbian and pedophile brothel called the Maria del Grazie. The picture painted in the 1400s by Leonardo da Vinci, okay, and I was uh, contracted by my publicist to cover the Da Vinci Film Festival, another topic for another day, saw out this Da Vinci Code painting of Julia Farnese portraying Christ and on her right side is not the Apostle John, it is the daughter of Julia Farnese Laura Farnese, whose father was Pope Alexander VI, who was also the father of a known homosexual bishop by the name of Cesare Borgia. You and I have been lied to. We have been lied to. We have been played. Yes, Christ existed, but he didn't look like Caesar Borgia. Yes, the 12 apostles existed, but they were not pedophiles and crooks and robbers who were let out of the Roman prison industrial complex by Pope Alexander VI to be painted as apostles in the Last Supper. Pastor Letitia, the body of Christ, we have been lied to. My job is to expose this, for this is the, the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis. So Nostre, N-O-S-T-R-E, Dom, the first two letters N O, then skip the letter S, then circle the letters T R E, Noter then Dom, then Nostradam was changed to Nostradamus. N O S T R A D A M U S. meaning Notre Dame, not the true mother of the Christ, a 70-year-old black woman in the Gospels, but this trash, this hoe, Julia 
foreign niece. But you're going to have black folk pastors saying, I don't believe that my mom and my grandmother, this was your fool. There's got to be an apostolic revolution. <laughs> Listen. Take down the pictures of the white Jesus, okay? This little homosexual demon who died of AIDS before we even knew about the concept of AIDS. Cesare Borgia, take down those pictures. Take down the paintings of the Last Supper. The real Last Supper did not take place in a homosexual, lesbian, and pedophile brothel that was in the Last Supper painting, the Marie del Grazie. You have been played. And I believe Kate is gone, Pastor Gilbert. In my conclusion, the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, take it down. Take down your Christmas trees, your chocolate bunny rabbits, okay? Your jelly beans, okay? Valentine's Day. All of that mess is nothing but paganistical demons. Stay there in Leviticus 17 and verse 11. Guy Gassinet would be the genetical blood progenitor that would produce Nostradamus, born on December 14th, 1503, and died on July 2nd, 1566, in the Soleil de Province in France. So the term Nostradamus is not just Gassinet, but also the term Nostradam, N-O-S-T-R-E, Dom, D-A-M-E, which is really Notre Dame, N O. Skip S, then T-R-E, then Dame. Notre Dame is a French lexicon term meaning Our Lady. Now, talking about Mary, the real Mary, the mother of the true Yeshua of the Christ, but talking about in reverencing this trash, this hoe, Julia Farnese. I said it. She's trash, and she was a hoe, Julia Farnese. And the individual on her right in the Last Supper is not the Apostle John, is Laura Farnese, the adolescent teenage child of both Julia Farnese and this hoe, this trash, Pope Alexander VI, whose son was a known homosexual whose name was not just Caesar Borgia or Cesare Borgia, but he also was named Salvador Monday, M-U-N-D-I. Look it up on Google Images. Holding a 6-6 sign in one hand and a Luciferic ball witchcraft of incantations and another that has nothing to do with the true Christ. Cesare Borgia was also the homosexual lover. I'm not just his cousin, Michelangelo, but also of his second cousin, Leonardo da Vinci. They, they were a threesome. I said it. Cesar Borgia, who is also called Salvador Mundi, who was also the face of the Shroud of Turin. I want you to hear me tonight. You see, we've been lied to. Okay, you've been taught that the Shroud of Turin is Christ. No, that's Cesare Borgia, a.k.a. Salvador Monday, along with Michelangelo, along with Leonardo da Vinci, were a threesome in bed. 
So the body of Christ has got to be purified of Vatican influence. In other words, we got to throw up the Vatican order. We got to throw up Okay, the paintings of the Last Supper in the Renaissance period and Leno da Vinci and Salvador Monday, a.k.a. Cesare Borgia and Michael All of it is nothing but lies. And Nostradamus had predicted in 2024 that Charles III would die and there would be a British style coup d'etat of Harry and Meghan in an attempt to ascend the British crown by removing first Kate, who has cancer, and then William her husband. And that is the end tonight, ladies and gentlemen, of volume three of this module three, which is probably pound for pound, one of the most powerful lectures that I have ever done, the immaculate patterns of simulated deception, the Nostradamus hypothesis, and I thank you. This is teaching. This is true apostles. You see, true apostles we teach. Let me clap again. Thank you, Pastor Gabriel. Okay. Operation Manaya Bridge has been activated because Charles is gone. Is so is Kate. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining the bishop tonight. And the acronym foundation of the term Notre Dame, Notre Dame is Notre Dame, in referencing this counterfeit Mary named Julia Farnese with the G. Thank you for joining the man of God. Was your minds blown tonight? See, this is receipts. These are receipts. Great to see you, Pastor Cooper. These are receipts. And the Shroud of Turin is not Christ. What the Vatican did, they took seven cloths and put it over the face of the dead face of Cicere Borgia, who was also AKA Salvador Monday and said, oh, this is Christ, the shroud of turn. The devil is a lie because if that was the face of Christ, then the word of God would be a lie because Christ would have never been able to resurrect. But Christ did resurrect himself because he is the resurrection in the life. So if you say that the shot of turn is Christ, then you're believing the lie that Christ did not resurrect. And we know that's a lie because he is the resurrection and he's the life. And he says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever believeth in me shall never die. Christ resurrected himself. He's God. He's sitting on the throne. And his name is Yeshua, Yahashua, Hamashiach, Yeshua the Christ. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. I thank you. I'm about ready to cry for joy, Pastor Sippy and Pastor Ali Sevendetto. Was your minds blown tonight? Put up those faces if your minds were blown. The only one that resurrected himself in history, never to die again, was Yeshua the Christ. He says, I am the way. Kaboom. Thank you, Pastor Barry. I am the way. Wait a minute. Look at the term I am. 
the rabbinical interpretation for I am a Asher a I am that I am has 10 letters. God created 17 trillion universes in 10 dimensions. And God said 10 times in Genesis 1. And God saw seven times. That's 17. 12 minor prophetical books plus five major 17. And we are in the, the 125th century. We are in the 125th generation right now. Not in 2024, but 1727. I know this. Listen, see, this is teaching is only for high pill, red pill apostolic students. And you see, you can tell when people are not meant to be here because their demons are agitated. Thank you for this apostolic teaching. Heavenly Father, we thank you for speaking through the bishop to your students. They're not my students. They belong to you, Christ, and to you, Christ alone. In Yeshua's holy name. Thank you, everyone. You're right on time, Pastor G. Harris. Demons, get, they, see, they get agitated because you're teaching truth. Right beside Pastor Queen Sugar's name, we need your financial help. Christ established an apostolic right of tithing. Okay, some of you are trying to just stick it in the Old Testament. No, it continues through the apostolic. Plant, thank you, Pastor Colin. Plant the Lord's side. I never use the word so. You know why? Because the, the term so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Pastor Leslie. Woo, my soul feels at ease. Thank you, Pastor Leslie. The term so is the name of a female hog or pig called sow. That's what the Vatican tried to do to the word by taking out the words plant and in order to subvert the word with the term so. Plant the Lord's tithe, okay? I don't want you to be cursed. The book of the prophet Malachi said, shall a man or a woman rob God? How have you robbed God in tithes and offerings? I didn't say it. God said it through the prophet Malachi. Right beside Pastor Charity's name, right beside Pastor True Witness' name, right beside Pastor Sam's name, please plant the Lord's tithe. If your gross is 3,000, the Lord's tithe is 300. If your gross is 2,000, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord's tithe is 200. If your gross is 1,000, then the Lord's tithe is 100. Do that. Thank you, uh, Pastor James. Oh, thank you, Pastor James. Y'all is so good. Thank you. Plant the Lord's tithe. And in the same transaction, plant $100 or more, okay? You should be like popcorn, like Pastor Queen Sugar says. $100, $200, $300, $400, $500. Three of you give a thousand. We got students, regular everyday people who are not just here in Hollywood, but also a part of the Broadway stage, okay, some of them are all actors and actresses, not known. Some of them are directors of stage in screen, not just here, but also in Hollywood, uh, but also in Broadway as well as Hollywood. And we got um, students, sons, apostolic sons who play in the NFL, the NBA, okay? Uh, one, now we got a new student now, who played on the practice squad of the Kansas City Chiefs, Pastor Sam, okay, who will be getting a ring, thank God. So um, he heard about me through his friends who also work uh, along with other pastors who are connected to the NFL who then follow the bishop's teaching. They don't follow, don't follow me, follow Christ that's in me. He's on the practice squad, Pastor Sam, uh, joined a week ago, and his name, I will not share it because there are demons, Pastor Sam, who are jealous, 
Okay, and plus he did not want his name to be revealed. Uh, but I did, um, you know, get his permission to share that testimony. We got brothers who play, some of them for the New York Yankees, a couple of them play for the farm, the, was it the farm league teams that's connected to the Yankees, okay? And those uh, men who are connected to the NHL. This is a global movement. You see, you got jealousy and envy and hatred, Pastor Sam. Okay, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Please, right now, I thank God for Pastor Chris Harris, one of our powerful apostolic pastors and sons in Christ who lives here in the Long Beach area. Thank you, Pastor Harris, for your faithful giving. And also, Pastor Harris, continue to give, Pastor Chris Harris. Love you, son. Thank you, Pastor Charity, PayPal. <coughs> dot me for slash g s r r media group okay paypal dot me uh for slash g s r r media group let's concentrate pastor Rita okay so paypal dot me for slash g s r r media group after you click on the paypal link click send don't click request click send plant the lord's tithe and in the same transaction Plan a hundred dollars or more, okay? Uh, and in the name of Yeshua the Christ. Also, we have a cash app right beside Pastor Queen Sugar's name. Uh, if you have the cash app, our cash app link is dollar sign then Global Revolution then the number one. And also, it's right beside True Witness Ministries name, uh, dollar sign Global Revolution one, dollar sign Global Revolution one. All right, pastors, um, Dave, just turn off your computer, turn it back on. You see, this is what I, the devil's mad, okay? And you see, the devil, <laughs> I thank God for Pastor Dave. Well, see, Pastor Dave, the devil doesn't want you to give, but the devil is a lie, okay? I thank God for Pastor Dave, uh, a, a true son in Christ, a true brother, a true friend. Love you, Pastor Dave. Uh, God bless you and whose children are my God children. All right, paypal.me forward slash G-S-R-R Mina Group. You know, Pastor Rick, God is bringing down every stronghold. The British crown is being toppled, okay? And this food that we have in the White House, I want you guys to listen to me. Come closer. Our nightmare, I hate to say that word because it is demon, but that's, that's what the Biden administration is, is a nightmare of demons. This nightmare, this mess is over. I just heard uh, not too long ago, was it not only did President Trump win South Carolina, uh, it's to my understanding, Pastor Dave, that President Trump won the state of Michigan. Am I correct in saying that? Okay, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, check me. Uh, it's to my understanding that President Trump not only won South Carolina, but he won the state of... Yes, thank you, Pastor Rita. You see, it's over, okay? This thing is over. And you see, but you got little Nikki Haley, okay? Who's banking on President Trump going to jail. It's not going to happen, Nikki. But you see, okay, now what's going to happen? God's going to take her out. Do you understand? She thinks that President Trump's going to jail, it's not going to happen, okay? She will back out, okay? Who's supporting her? Not just these demons on the left. Who's supporting her, okay? George Soros, this devil. And Pastor Rita, she's fake. <laughs> Little Nikki Haley is fake. And she's nothing but a straight up liar. President Trump, we love you. And to all of our students, <clears throat> we know President Trump is not perfect. We're not saying he's perfect. But God has chosen him and anointed him as a present day Cyrus of Isaiah 45 for such a time as this. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Pastor uh, Pearl, thank you so much. Please, right now, plant a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Three of you give a thousand. The rest of you, 
okay? Give your best. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for being with the bishop tonight. Listen, the judge and the attorney violated the Eighth Amendment. You're talking about the judge and the attorney in the Georgia case, Pastor Rita? Uh, what you're talking about, Willis, she's nothing but a liar. I love President Trump's defense attorney in Georgia. On my radio show last night, okay, on the nationally syndicated Global Spiritual Revolution Radio, on the WMCA, AM 970, uh, AM 570, FM 102.3, through the iHeartMedia Group, we were exposing uh, this devil, Fanny Willis, straight up lying in President Trump's defense attorney. I think her name is Ashley Merchant. Oh, she's powerful, man. And, you know, she's exposing the lies of little Fanny Willis. She needs to be disbarred. And if the judge doesn't do anything, he needs to be disbarred. You see, no weapon that's formed against President Trump will prosper. You try to convict him, okay? Oh, he's got to pay $400 million. He's not going to pay that. President Trump, President, President Trump is not going to pay that. Did you hear Fannie Willis talking all this ghetto talk? Oh, I loan my friends five G's, two G's. Another word, she's ghetto trash, okay? Thank you guys for being with the bishop tonight, okay? She's humiliated by losing the Trump. And then you see, little Nikki Haley, stop, it's over. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, my God. Uh, Pastor Harris, we love you. All of you guys, please, right now, okay? Uh, obey the mind of God. Michelle, they said Michael Obama. I'm sorry. Michelle Obama is on the ticket, okay? It'll be a test run. It, uh, you know, Pastor Corey, it's not going to work. Michael, Michelle Obama, listen, it's not going to work because the American people on the right and a lot of them on the left see through this for what it is. PayPal.me for slash GS or meter right beside Pastor Sam's name. Please plant the Lord's tie. God is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. God is speaking to someone to plant a thousand dollars. Okay. Plant right now. And also God is speaking to someone to plant 500, to plant 300. We are launching our nationally syndicated television show in the spring, God willing, the first week in April, called the Global Masterclass television show. We will not be revealing the network because we have signed a non-disclosure agreement. We have to be careful. We're also launching the first ever apostolic studio in Hollywood. Now, we are not the first faith-based studio in Hollywood history, but we are the first apostolic Yeshua-only studio in the history of Hollywood, the Global Movement Studios, LLC, for the creation and the distribution of Christ-centered films, short films, commercials with a red pill paradigm. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Oh, you're right, Pastor Rick Michael. It will not work. Right beside Pastor Sam's name, right beside Pastor um, True Witness Ministries' name, please, paypal.me for slash GSRR Medica. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. Thank you so much. Uh, obedience is better than sacrifice uh, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Um, my Our real IG account on Instagram is at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. And uh, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. And uh, my publicist just created a brand new press kit for the bishop. We'll be putting that up tonight on social media as well. I'm excited. I am excited, Pastor Sippy. And you know what? I'm going to President Trump's inauguration. I said it. I'm going to. President Trump's inauguration. Uh, Pastor Sam said, Bishop Stephen A. Smith has been getting exposed. You know, Pastor Sam, do you guys remember the prophecy from last year? That God gave me the word for, not just for the students of Christ, you, 
But for our nation in the world, Stephen A. Smith will be fired from ESPN. Not because he's done anything wrong or did not do anything wrong or will be doing something wrong, but Stephen A. Smith, his time is up. He thinks that First Take is his show. It's not his show. It's Bob Iger's show from Disney. Stephen A. Smith, your days are numbered. That's why they brought not just Shane and Sharp, but Pastor Sam, they also brought, did you notice J.J. Riddick came back a few days last week? Love J.J. Riddick. J.J. Riddick and Shannon Sharp will take over first take. Why, why do you think that Stephen A. Smith created his own podcast last year? Because he knows the writings on the raw. I'm telling you, Pastor Sam, Pastor Dave, I want you guys to listen to the bishop. For thus saith the Lord God Almighty of Israel, whose name is Yeshua the Christ. Stephen A. Smith will be fired. And when that happens, you'll remember what the bishop said. For thus saith the Lord. He'll go and say, well, it was just time for me to go. I was tired. No. His days are up. We need the boule teaching. I think I'm going to go back to that. I've been getting a lot of uh, emails, Pastor Kobe, concerning the boule Secret Society. And I'm going to go back to that. And you know, Pastor Sam, I've been getting a lot of messages from my staff, not just here in New York, not just here in LA, excuse me, but also in New York by email stating that a lot of listeners, a lot of students want me to do a series on, get this, the assassination of Bruce Lee. Let me say this again. They want me to do a series on the assassination of Bruce Lee. Some information that the bishop has, it will absolutely blow your minds, okay? And uh, we've been in contact with his daughter, Shannon Lee, concerning this information, okay? Oh my God. And, and let me tell you something. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pastor Gabriel and Pastor Sam. There has not been a superstar in cinema before or since the passing of Bruce Lee. It has not, no one is on this man, was on this man's level. His son is well, Pastor Sam, okay? They took him out too. Now, I've been hearing rumors that Keanu Reeves was also a son of Bruce Lee. We don't, we're looking into that. We don't know if that's true or not, but that's the rumor, Pastor Rita. So look for, in the coming weeks, the assassination of Bruce Lee. My God. And also, we're going to be doing, remember the Atlanta child murders back in, what, 1980 and 81? Okay. Uh, who was the man that they set up? He's in prison now. What's his name? The, the, um, the black brother, the African-American brother. Who, Wayne Williams? Wayne Williams? He didn't do it. They set him up. Okay. Wayne Williams was a, so we'll be doing the assassination of Wayne Williams as well. And he said he was a member of the CIA, and I believe him. God bless you. And if, you, if there's any topic or lecture uh, theme that the, you want the bishop to teach on, or Bob Marley too. Pastor Wood, I've been invited to the movie premiere of uh, Bob Marley's movie premiere to cover it <coughs> for the iHeart I Media Group. And God willing, um, I'll be covering the Dune 2 movie premiere. And this is how you get people to come to Christ, okay, on Thursday. So our next class will not be until Friday, okay? God bless you. Pray for my throat. I've been coughing a lot. <clears throat> and I got this tea from Georgia uh, called the, it's called Yellow Root Tea. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, Pastor Sam. Yellow Root Tea. It's working. And so my publicist told me about it. So I ordered it from 
I think it's from Georgia or Alabama, one of the two states, and got some uh, strawberry preservatives as well. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And uh, Pastor Dave, we're going to be setting that up soon. I will let you know tomorrow, Pastor Dave, if you can call me and we can have fellowship. We can have a lunch. God bless you uh, at our spot, okay, here in Los Angeles. Thank you, everyone. Was your minds blown tonight? We've been lied to, Pastor Rick, okay, about so many things, okay? Woo! I'm taking real root tea. Um, I'll send you the link tonight, Pastor Sam, but it's working for my throat. The only thing that's left is this itchiness. Wendy Williams, I heard she was diagnosed with dementia. Is that true, Pastor Ali Sevendetto? Um, Wendy Williams, they're trying to destroy her she was, because she's destroying uh, the Black Pedophilia Network. And because she's exposing that, they went after her, okay? And there's more, five more women that has filed charges against TV snakes, against, okay, not just TV snakes, but also P. Diddy, along with Tyler Perry, five more women here in Los Angeles. It's coming down. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Okay. Uh, that's PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Right now. Thank you, everyone. Um, Mullen Leaf Extract. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. Can I get that at Whole Foods? If I can, I'll have one of my personal assistants to get it there. We'll find it around here someplace here in the LA area. Thank you, guys. Oh, the house of cards is coming down, Pastor Dave. Please plant the Lord's tithe, okay? I don't want you to be cursed. Please do that now. We love you. We honor you. So I'll see you guys on Friday, okay? Thursday, we want to have class on Thursday. I have an event to cover, but Friday, I'll see you guys on Friday. And also, I got some new lectures coming up, not just the assassination of Bruce Lee and the assassination of Wayne Williams, but oh, thank you, Pastor Sam, but also the assassination of Dr. Miles Monroe. Oh, my Lord. The assassination of Dr. Miles Monroe. I'll see you guys on Friday. Pray for the bishop. Thank you so very much for being with the bishop today. We exalt the name of Yeshua HaMashiach Yeshua the Christ, thank you so very much. I'll see you guys on Friday for another edition of our Global Masterclass because no one on this earth is teaching this. And if they're telling you they're teaching this, they are lying. Thank you. An anointed awesome night tonight. Thank you, Pastor Ali Severndetto. Please forgive me for the lateness <clears throat> and, and to share this teaching. Share it throughout social media. You have my permission. Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram, um, TikTok, Telegram, Gab, bitch you. Don't alter the teaching or you'll be blocked. Thank you so much, Pastor Shawnee. Love you in Christ, woman of God. Please plant your best financial gift in someone. God is speaking to someone, not just to give a thousand, but speaking to someone else. They give $500. We need your help. No one's teaching this. What's your minds blown tonight? One more time. Put up those faces, ladies and gentlemen, if your minds were indeed blown. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. All right. We'll see you guys on Friday. And that is it from out from Los Angeles. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. And I'll see you guys on Friday. And that is it. Module 3, Volume 3. The Immaculate Patterns of Simulated Deception, the Nostradamus Hypothesis, and I thank you. I see you guys on Friday. Keep the bishop in your prayers. Hold me up, please, in your prayers, because I'm fighting on the front line. I would never capitulate. I would never wear a dress. I would never be butt broken. I would never bend over. 
because no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Oh my God, Wendy Williams, she's being attacked, okay? Because what she exposed, okay? Not just Steve Harvey. I got some information today, Pastor Sam, that Bernie Mac was murdered. Bernie Mac was murdered, okay? So we'll do a series on the assassination of Bernie Mac. He saw something he was not supposed to see, okay? We're going to expose that. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys on Friday. And let's pray for the wife of Bernie Mac. I would love to get her not just on my radio show, but here to talk to you guys one day, okay? Uh, he was exposed in Barack Obama. They didn't like that. So they gave Bernie Mac double pneumonia, and they gave him two heart attacks twice in a the row. They killed him. I'll see you guys on Friday. God bless you from Los Angeles. Thank God that Jacob Rothschild had died. Let me clap my hands, okay? Let me clap my hands. Thank God, okay? But he's got his soul, Bishop. Listen, that man has been behind assassinations, toppling of governments. And that man, Jacob Rothschild, was behind the missing Malaysian flight MH370. But God took out Jacob Rothschild. Now, that's all I'm going to say. I have to be careful. God bless you, okay? We'll see you guys on Friday. Let's pray for the wife of Bernie Mac. I'll see you guys, and we're going to do a series on the assassination of Bernie Mac, okay, very soon. I'll see you guys on Friday. Keep the bishop in your prayers. Allow me to continue to use wisdom. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Um, this was a mind-blowing teaching tonight. God bless you. I'll see you guys on Friday. The bishop loves you. God bless from Los Angeles.